Welcome back everyone for the 11 a.m. update on now Hurricane Fiona. So Fiona's now moved close enough that it's within radar site of Puerto Rico. So this is the island of Puerto Rico here to, to locate you and this is the center of Fiona as it's moving off to the west northwest. What I want you to really pay attention to is these heavy rains that are now moving onto especially the southeast side of Puerto Rico where uh, flooding is already occurring, significant flooding is already occurring, and you can see that this is going to sweep across the island the rest of the day and tonight. So now if we move over to look at the current statistics, uh, as of 11 a.m., 17.3 uh, north, 66.5 west, moving west-northwest at 8 miles per hour. The pressure is down now to 987, and most importantly, the winds are up. 80 miles per hour, again, makes it a Category 1 hurricane on the Saffir-Simpson scale. If we look at where uh, Fiona is going to move over the next couple of days, generally moving off to the west-northwest, moving over or clipping the southwestern tip of the island of Puerto Rico, then moving up through the passage, possibly in, uh, clipping eastern Dominican Republic or just offshore, then turning more to the north, uh, passing to the east of the southeastern Bahamas, and then turning northward and then potentially impacting Bermuda uh, at days four and five. But we'll focus on right now, the here and now, because a potentially catastrophic event is unfolding with respect to flooding. The reds here denote hurricane warnings, meaning hurricane conditions are, are likely or possible here in, in the red areas here, Dominican Republic in Puerto Rico. Looking ahead at the timing, at the timing, it's already occurring. So basically, conditions are going downhill quickly over the island of Puerto Rico and then this will move gradually off and begin uh, interacting with and, and impacting the Dominican Republic Sunday night this evening uh, and lasting through Monday morning and then potentially impacting the southeast Bahamas uh, during the day Monday. What's noteworthy here is this, this bright color show the sort of swath of impacts. Any little deviation to the left here could bring greater impacts to the southeast Bahamas. So please stay tuned there. But the big story here is the potential rainfall unfolding for Puerto Rico. So this is the IR satellite image, and the center is located right about here. What I want you to pay attention to is this large band of heavy shower and thunderstorm activity to the east. So as uh, Fiona moves off to the west-northwest, this is basically going to park itself over the island tonight and produce very, very, very heavy rainfall. And with the sun going down tonight, driving conditions will be treacherous. So if you're out and about, it is time to go home and stay put until this storm passes. And if you're watching us from somewhere else but know someone in Puerto Rico, please call them and tell them to get wherever they need to be and stay put until this system clears. And it could take through much of Monday, really, for this system to clear. Because even if the center is located up here, all of this trailing heavy, heavy rainfall will remain back east over the island of Puerto Rico. What does that mean in terms of rainfall amounts? So this purple area shows the greatest area of uh, catastrophic flooding. So we're looking at widespread 12 to 16 inches of rainfall potential with up to isolated amounts of 25 inches. Now, all, we often get lost in the numbers, so let me place that in context. That is two feet of water, two feet of water to help you understand the potential flooding impacts that could occur primarily over the eastern and southern portions of the island of Puerto Rico. It doesn't mean that the rest of the island is out of the, wood, out of the woods, but especially in here and right here in the southeastern portion of the island. Not a big surge, storm surge event. Uh, this is because there's a little bit of uh, bathymetry or the, the, the ocean goes deep uh, really, really quick. So that limits the surge potential but increases the potential for waves. So not a good day to be at the beach, not a good day to be out at all because of the rainfall threat that we just talked about. So repeating and recapping, and you can see the flash flood uh, warning here in southeastern um, Puerto Rico because Flooding is already occurring, and you can see how this heavy rains are sweeping across the island. Um, if, you're, if you're watching us from Puerto Rico, please just go home and stay home for the rest of the day, tonight and tomorrow, as this potentially catastrophic flooding event unfolds. Stay tuned to the National Hurricane Center. We'll be bringing you updates uh, every day until this threat passes.